Automating your heating is often a high priority item when building out your smart home, with lots of available options for smart thermostats, but those usually just heat or cool the entire house as one. What if there was a way to do it on a room by room basis, which would be very nice for comfort, the environment and your wallet? Shelly has entered the market with their new Shelly TRV, a device that lets you automatically control the individual radiators in a room and has a bunch of great features, all whilst being pretty affordable. So let's take a look. Oh, and speaking of affordable, thanks to Banggood for sponsoring this video. Banggood is an online retailer providing a wide variety of products that are highly cost effective and features many of your favorite smart home brands like Acara, Sonoff and Zemismart. Or if you prefer DIY projects, they have ESPs, Arduinos, M5 stacks and 3D printers. Everything you could possibly want or need, you can find at Banggood. Check them out with the link in the video description. Full transparency as always, Shelly did send over their new TRVs for me to check out, but no money changed hands and they do not get to see this video before it goes live. So the Shelly TRV, short for thermostatic radiator valve by the way, is a direct replacement for your existing radiator valve and helps you to automate and control individual rooms and zones in your smart home. As we've come to know and expect from Shelly, it uses Wi-Fi for connectivity, has a built-in battery with a claimed two years of battery life on a single charge, a USB Type-C port for charging, and has support for ALEXA, Google Home, SmartThings, Home Assistant, and a handful of others. On the top is a display for viewing the temperature from its built-in temperature sensor, and on the side is two physical buttons for controlling the temperature set point, and all of this can be operated locally without the use of any cloud, something we love to see. The Shelly TRV comes in at a price of 59 euros, which is around 49 pounds. Installation of the Shelly TRV is really easy and should be compatible with almost all radiator types. In my case, I just had to unscrew the existing radiator valve and then with the adapters included in the box, find the correct one for my radiator, screw it down so it's nice and tight and then screw on the Shelly TRV, making sure that the display is facing the correct way up. Once done, press and hold the reset button on the bottom until the display lights up and you'll hear the motorized valve start to move. And after a few seconds, it shows the letters AP on the display, which means that it's ready to be connected to the Shelly app. If you see the letters E1, then that means your Shelly is not quite seated properly and you'll need to try again. One minor complaint I have here is with the adapter, or at least the one that I used. I would like it to have gripped to the radiator a bit more to prevent it from rotating, but if I did try to tighten it any more, then the screw pulls through itself in the holes in the clip, and they could probably just fix this with a different size screw and a washer. But once you have them on there, they are pretty secure and you don't really ever need to touch them anyways. Connecting to the Shelly app has improved a little since the last time I used it, and it is fairly straightforward, although they could still make this a little bit more user-friendly IMO. In the menu, go to Add Devices, and it will ask you which SSID you want to connect your device to, select one and enter your password. Then it will start to scan for your Shelly and pick up its hotspot. Tap the device you would like to add and the TRV will connect to your Wi-Fi. Wait a few minutes and then in the Shelly app, it should then show up as a discovered device, where you can then name it and add it to a room. The Shelly TRV is primarily controlled through the Shelly app, or it has a local web server running on it that you can connect to in your browser and modify settings on it that way. Both have pretty much the same functionality, although there is a few settings only available in the app and a different couple of settings only available through the browser for some reason, so just be aware of that. There is essentially three different modes with the Shelly TRV. You can have it set so that it will automatically try and maintain a given temperature by using its inbuilt temperature sensor, which will then in turn automatically open and close the radiator valve to try and stay close to that temperature. You can also create weekly schedules where you tell it what temperature you want to maintain at set times of the day, or you can disable the automatic temperature and then simply control the position of the valve from zero to 100% in 10% increments. This is useful if you want to either just keep water flowing through the radiator at all times, or you want to control it with another smart home platform instead, like Home Assistant. 
One very thoughtful feature I do like is that obviously with the TRV being mounted directly on the radiator, the heat generated from the radiator could affect the reading that you get from the inbuilt temperature sensor. Shelly has obviously thought about that and even acknowledge it in their documentation, so you have the ability to offset the temperature to get a more accurate result. And you can do this with both positive and negative numbers. At the moment, you can only do this in whole numbers rather than being able to add decimal places, which I do think that Shelly should allow, but it is a nice addition. You can also hook this up to a compatible external temperature sensor if you'd like for more accurate readings too. The physical buttons are also pretty handy if you don't want to pull out your phone to adjust things and can be used to quickly and easily control the temperature or the valve position that it's set to. And if you have kids who like to mess around with the radiators, you can enable a child lock feature so that the buttons are actually disabled, foiling their plans. The Shelly will also directly connect to Google Home or ALEXA for voice commands, where you can ask it to set the desired temperature in a room. Connecting to Home Assistant is just as straightforward. And once done, the Shelly will expose a climate entity that you can control directly, as well as view the current temperature and set the target temperature. You can also set those preset weekly schedules that you can create inside the Shelly app and then control them from Home Assistant as a preset, which is neat. I was actually a bit surprised that it showed up at all since this device isn't even out yet. So really great that it just works. One improvement I would like to see to be added would be direct controls into Home Assistant to toggle the automatic or manual mode, as well as expose a sensor for the valve position and toggles to control the valve position too. I'm sure we will see those get added when this device is actually released. If you don't want to use Home Assistant or you prefer MQTT, then of course you have the option to use MQTT where you are presented with much more information and sensors if you need them, and you can set up manual controls for everything again if you need to. One thing that has to be applauded here is the local control. As with all Shelly products, they will work without internet access and they don't have to be connected to the Shelly cloud if you don't want them to. This is especially important for heating controls because if your internet goes down, then heating is one of those essential things that you always want to be able to access and control if you are left in that situation. Battery life is quoted at two years. Obviously that is going to depend on how much you are using and operating it. But even if I got say 12 to 18 months out of a single charge, I'd be pretty happy with that personally. I haven't confirmed this, but it does seem to be that they are using the same wireless chipset that we saw in the Shelly motion sensor in order to get that long battery life on Wi-Fi, which is great to see. It does charge via the USB type C port that is on here. And they say that it will take around five hours to charge from zero to 100%, which is not too bad. Genuinely, I really like these TRVs from Shelly and I'd probably put these at the top of the list out of all of the TRVs that I've personally seen. They are incredibly simple to install. They work very well. They use Wi-Fi, so you don't need to buy and use a proprietary hub in order to use them. They are fully local control with lots of integrations to other smartphone platforms, including MQTT support. They work with Home Assistant natively and they are amongst the cheapest in price that I've seen. In fact, they are probably the cheapest ones out there when you take into consideration that you don't have to buy an additional hub to use them since they are Wi-Fi. If I was looking to kit out my house with individual zone control for heating, the Shelly TRVs are absolutely the ones that I would go for right now. In fact, Shelly, if you are watching this and you want to send me some more of these, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say no, call me. Anyways, that is going to do it for this review of the Shelly TRV. These are currently available to pre-order on the Shelly website if you are interested in them. They are going to be shipping out on April 4th, but if you would like to get in on these now, then you can. And we will of course have everything linked down below. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to be picking up some of these for yourself or what TRVs you are currently using if you already have some. Whilst you're down there, make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed. And if you want to support the channel, then you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to keep on making these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. As always, your support is very much appreciated. Drop a like, get subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.